pull up right now. We need to pull up the last second. Here we go. And oh, in this video, we're going to be flying this destructible plane to the Arctic with 10 passengers here. Let's get started. So um, I don't know how we're going to stuff 10 people in this plane. I hope there's enough seats, but let's go ahead and open the door. How are we going to get up there? Oh my gosh, who designed this plane? I have to bring them all to the door now and lift them up. I am not strong enough for that because they did pay a whole bunch of money for this flight. So I guess we do have to bring them all on. Here's Debbie. She'll be right there because she definitely needs the most assistance. All right, we somehow got all the people stuffed in this plane. We're going to go ahead and get this thing started. Um, we do have four more seating left, so this thing could hold 14 people. That's absolutely crazy. We don't have a bathroom on board, so you guys cannot be clogging the toilet today, but we're going to go ahead and start this thing. Master battery, engine starters. We're going to have to taxi this because we have to be professional today and all that blah, blah. So yeah, I can't be messing around today. It's all serious stuff here. All right, how do I start this? Here we go. And then we have to disable ground magnets here we go i forgot to turn on fuel um yeah a little bit of a issue uh why do we have a stall and pull up warning now that's probably just a little issue we got going on there but go ahead and taxi this as a good pilot that i am oh i forgot to turn on nose wheel steering where is that at oh my gosh we need to figure that out right now like literally this second nose wheel steering there we go okay turn left okay i guess nose wheel steering is reversed um well that's lovely because now i don't even know which way i'm turning um okay you know what uh we need to take off we need to take off this is not gonna work take off go pull up pull up oh oh my gosh that was a terrible takeoff i'm so sorry guys i'm at a slight angle currently so nothing concerning a lane and gear up override the override what well, i don't even know why there's an override one. here we go we're gonna bring these people to 40,000 feet let's go on our map here and see how far the arctic is so right here this is us and if we zoom out a little bit, the Arctic is only up here. So it's not that far away. Let's go ahead and look. Only 119 kilometers away, guys. I think we'll be there maybe tomorrow evening. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to make a gentle turn to go over there. And all of our passengers are going to enjoy this flight because I'm the best captain ever, as you guys know. Oh. Um, does this have an altitude hold? Because I don't want to be in here this entire flight. Roll stabilizer. Keep current altitude. There we go. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. Okay, well, that is a altitude hold. How is your guys' this flight so far? Is there any kind of drinks I can get you? Uh, but yeah, we got some pretty cool stuff. We got two emergency exits right here. Let's get some fresh air. Oh, that's so nice. Feel the breeze. Okay, yeah, we need to close that. I'm sorry, guys. We just had a little bit of an air leak back there. That's why your ears just got exploded. Oh my gosh, you guys even got a table is this like first class or something you guys better be paying me a whole bunch of money if you guys got a table because that is like i could have put a whole nother seat right there oh my gosh i forgot even over here i could have fit two seats in between this table oh my gosh you i think this is like the ultimate first class this is first class this is business class and this is um normal class i don't know ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking you guys can stand up if you want to but there's literally nothing you're going to be able to do we don't even have a bathroom on board and this is like a two-day flight so yeah i don't know if you should have chosen this flight with me today i'm just going to be honest with you including you debbie but yeah we do have some food on board like we have crackers oh oh major explosion on board what in the world just happened oh debbie oh debbie oh oh my gosh your chair isn't even connected debbie did ask me for some fresh air earlier i did not know she like really wanted it that bad but she like decompressed the cabin or something we need to repair this right now debbie um i hope you stay there because i don't know honestly okay, we need to repair all this stuff right now this is an active emergency we got going on here there's a hole in the side of the plane um, is Debbie's chair connected to that? I honestly don't know what's going on here because it isn't falling off. I think we're fine. I think this will work. Yeah. Oh my gosh. If I had a captain here, he'd be dead because there is damage in the captain seat. I hope you guys back here are doing well. You guys probably did a good choice by not going into first class today because some of our pa first class passengers just um, withstanded an explosion. Actually, some of them don't even have a lot of health. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'll repair your chair there. Um, Do we have a first aid kit on board? Let me check. I think we do have an emergency cabinet. Here we go. First aid. Uh, Debbie definitely need some there you go here you go too oh my gosh they already used all of it hold on we need to grab another one let's grab our handheld radio here um that's all they gave me for this flight to contact atc so i guess we're talking to atc through a handheld radio this is neo Tastic speaking we had a small explosion on board not really a not really a huge event happened but yeah just a small explosion what do we do in this situation because there is like a passenger hanging on the side of the wall that's like i don't even think this wall is connected to the plane actually so we we're definitely having an issue of some sort here. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying your fresh air. We do have some 40,000 feet fresh air coming in this plane currently. I'm going to close this door here because I don't even want to look at those people. Hold up. I just looked at our fuel and it is not looking good. We need to do an emergency U-turn right now. Emergency U-turn. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have like no fuel left. Look at this fuel. It is going down fast. We need to go back. Um, where's the island at? I think we can make an emergency landing at this runway right here. We're going to run out of fuel if we don't get there. Um, I lost 
What was that? Oh, where did the side of the plane go? Oh, no. Hold on a second. Debbie, Debbie, did you, did you see where Debbie went? Debbie, oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we're having some engine problems, as you can hear. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, this is escalating a little quick. Oh, uh, we're going into a stall. Oh my gosh, we got a stall warning going on. We're losing power. Um, that's perfectly fine. Hold on, I think I have a reserve fuel switch somewhere. I have to go look for it. Okay, I clicked the reserve fuel switch. It was in a hidden compartment. I can't show you guys. 100% classified. Uh, here we go. I just turned it back on. We have fuel. This is our reserve fuel, so there's not a whole lot of this left. But here we go. Where do we need to go? Um, we're not going to that runway. I don't think we need to go there anymore, but we will go straight to the Arctic from here. That, I don't know what in the world happened. I think we actually lost Debbie there. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Um, Is Debbie in like the bottom of the ocean somewhere? Hold on. Let's grab these very zoomable binoculars. Can we see anything? Um, We can see absolutely nothing. Debbie is on her own, but she is a survivor. She can live through whatever nature brought her. But yeah, um, I guess we don't have a wall in our plane anymore more that's um interesting i guess we have a lot more fresh air going in now so that is nice i hope this dude's enjoying it he's definitely getting like the most fresh air he's ever had oh my gosh i just realized our radar is broken so we can't even detect if there's like anything going on so it's like frozen oh no this is not good all right how are you guys doing back here don't mind the hole in the wall um hello hello oh you have to use the bathroom oh my gosh okay well we do have a contract on this plane if they ever have to use the bathroom we have to land at the nearest airport to um let them go to the bathroom that's a little annoying i guess we're gonna do that we're going to the nearest bathroom all because of you i hope you're enjoying your flight so far we are upside down currently i hope they're enjoying this inverted hello how is your guys flight going we are upside down this time that's the only difference from the last time i talked to you but yeah i hope you're enjoying your flight i should probably go back up there because i am the only captain today wait hold on a second you guys think i could jump on the engine from here um oh Oh my gosh, we're on, the, we're on the wing. I meant the wing. Um, we're on the wing. Okay, well, that's interesting. Can I jump on this wing? Oh, I can go like to the way end. Oh my gosh. Hello, passengers. This is your captain on the end of the wing here. Um, I'm the only one flying this plane, actually. So I don't know if you should be scared or impressed. But here we go. I'm going to try jumping back in the plane um oh all right that's fine i got back in um nothing happened there you guys just remain calm hello lady i hope your flight's going good we are doing a u-turn here because someone has to go to the bathroom i don't know why but make sure you guys rate me five stars on the reviewing app i think this has been a great flight so far i don't know about you guys but this is honestly a really nice flight we've been going on here okay why is this plane angling down so far i'm just trying to repair the plane go back up here we go okay um there's a volcano to the left of the plane guys all right guys one of you guys told me you want to get a closer view of this volcano i'll give you a closer view so here we go we get a way closer view of this volcano we're probably going to be able to feel the heat but yeah i hope you enjoy this volcano right here here it is guys but here we go we're flying next to a volcano this is absolutely crazy it's getting a little turbulence over here can you guys feel oh oh my gosh there's ash going everywhere no oh my god oh oh my gosh there's ash going i think it just erupted guys Oh, we need to watch out. There's boulders going towards us. There's boulders going towards the plane currently. We're taking evasive maneuvers as the pilot. Oh my God. Oh, there's explosions going on everywhere. It just erupted the second we flew past it. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Are those like explosion balls? What in the world? They explode when they hit the ground. Um, Yeah, I definitely don't want to get hit by one of those. That one's going like directly towards me. Yeah, I think we're too high for that, but oh my God gosh what in the world we're losing engine rps right now we have a pull we have a stall warning we're stalling guys what the heck hold on oh i just remembered something the volcano ash actually clogs your engine from running so ladies and gentlemen we are doing a flight test maneuver currently i hope you guys are enjoying your flight so far it will be landed here momentarily because um yeah i'm the best captain ever this will be a soft landing our landing gear is not deploying uh what uh you guys did not hear anything we're just having some slight inconveniences here oh my gosh this dude has a clear view of what's going on i did not i completely forgot oh finally our gear deploys okay pull up right now we need to pull up the last second here we go and oh oh no uh, we have a major fire on board. That's not good. Okay, I need to get out of the cockpit here. The cockpit door is broken. I'm stuck in a burning plane. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out of here. Oh, there we go. I just had to push it. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we guys have landed. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed your flight. This was a very nice landing. Very smooth. I didn't even feel that we landed. This is Coast Guard speaking. We got a notification here saying a plane has crashed. We are being dispatched to the current location. We have 5.1 kilometers to go, so we will be there momentarily. There is 
heavy volcano ash in the air so we need to be extra careful while rescuing these people uh, here we go we are going towards them full speed we are going there quite fast we do have a transponder active so they they are indeed having an emergency thing going on here so we are going there holy it is so ashy out here uh i don't know what happened i think we did get an incoming impact event which was the volcano so that was terrible all right 2.8 kilometers there's a whole bunch of trees hopefully they didn't crash in any of the trees that'd start a wildfire i'm not in the mood today to be doing a wildfire absolutely not but here we go 1.5 kilometers left and we will be there rescuing them a couple hundred meters and we should be here oh my gosh they're in the mountain um where are they at here we're gonna start lowering altitude start turning here okay i think they're in this little a area right here are they um let's see do we see anything i don't see anything over here oh here's the plane it's right here i got eyes on the plane all right we're gonna be lowering altitude and turning off our engines here in a second hopefully all the passengers are okay it did take a little bit for us to get here but here we go we're trying to land and hey okay, we need to do this real quick so rotor brake on so this should keep our plane from um taking off again i hope it does at least because i don't know um why is this going down the hill um um that's fine all right get some first aid we need to go in this plane immediately um do these doors work um yes the doors still work jump in here are you guys okay where's your captain did he die i think he did he's a terrible captain oh my gosh these people have no health there's no way i'm rescuing all these people i really hope there wasn't a lady sitting right here because if she was there she's definitely not here anymore but i'll, I'll just rescue this dude I don't have enough room for all you guys. I'm so sorry. All right, sir. You can be my co-captain right there. Uh, you seem good enough for that. I trust you enough to be in the important seat. But here we go. Turn off rotor brake. And we're going to be taking off here. Uh, yeah, sir. You, I wouldn't recommend touching rotor brake while we're flying. He just asked me that question. I don't know what he has planned here. But we're just going to fly back to the rescue station and probably deploy some more helicopters over here because I'm not rescuing all these people by myself. All right, he's currently flying the plane. He's going over there. So, sir, I hope you do a good job flying this. Yeah, you're doing quite good. That is the plane down there that is um crashed. So, yeah, here we go. All right, you do are doing a quite good job. Why are you, what are you doing? You need to pull up right now. We're going to crash. Oh, oh my gosh. What are you doing? Oh, pull up. I'm gaining control. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This dude sucks at piloting. Oh, no. Okay, well, we just crashed. That's probably going to be the end of it because this dude does not know how to fly a freaking helicopter. All right, that's me for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. That is crazy how this dude just crashed. Thanks for watching and goodbye.